Hi guys, Javen here, back for another sh um, episode or show of, of from this channel, Spoken Word. Um, now, today, not going to be too long, just a quick one. If you're wondering why I've got a coat on in my own house, because it's freezing, it's cold, and we've got no hot water out of all seasons in the year. We've got no hot water, f um, and, not, and come Monday, when it hopefully gets sorted, it'll be at least a week without hot water in winter of all months of the year. Yeah, not exactly the best. Not really great start to the year you're hoping, but apart from that, no, I'm joking. Everything else has been blessed, really. Um, but yeah, um, so I know how it was since Monday. Um, yeah, and then literally it's been been very difficult. Got get, using heaters, which is burning up electricity, 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 which has not been great, um, you know. After spending money over Christmas, you know, family's got to do, but yeah, it's, it's what it is. Been in a situation like this before. The guy was meant to come yesterday to sort it out. Um, they didn't turn up, we waited all day, wasted our time, and then they didn't, they're not coming tomorrow, which is Friday. Um, they're not coming on the weekend, so on Monday will be literally a week. So literally the only hot water we have got, I mean, you guys know that I love my baths, rather than showers. I've I, I, I got nothing against showers generally, but for a bath, the ones that have been here, no, 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 that have watched this show will know that by now. I mentioned it in a, in a show before, um, a story when I was on holiday abroad, but when people were doing showers and I had a bath, what ways what it is. But yeah, had a shower instead because that's powered by electric, electricity, rather than that, that, than all the other um, other stuff for the heat and stuff. So yeah. That was, uh, that's, that's that. But anyway, guys, so today I want to talk about, so, you know, we had, had you, the channel does the odd um, occasional boxing, casual boxing um, stuff. It's not a box, it's not a sports um, specific um, channel, but the boxing, we do little casual things here and there on updates. We don't go into depth like really like that with different divisions. It's mostly been focused on the heavyweight division, if anything, and some of the the, the, the boxers. But yeah, I was talking about um, Anthony Joshua more sp specifically because he's someone um, British megastar boxer has come up and he's come, he's rise. He looks like his stock has fallen recently, but now he looks like he's on the rise. He's on the rise again, or the or, or the come up. Or semi come up, whatever you want to call it, yeah. Um, now with him, he is someone that for f I'll say what is it two? When did he leave? three? F f 2019 when he kind of started falling off um, in the public's eye. Um, lost to Andy Ruiz um, Jr. Um, yes, he won the rematch, but he's the Andy Ruiz, Andy Andy. Andy Ruiz Jr. gave him his first professional um, loss. He's won that match, the rematch. He's now fought Alexander Usyk, Usyk twice. He's lost that. The, the second defeat, obviously everyone knows that follows. He had the, the, the outburst. Um, people had a lot to say about him and a lot of people changed their opinions on him. I still think he's a great, he's great. He's a great guy. He's human. Messes up everybody else does, but yeah, it's nice to see him looking like he's on like the the rise up now. Why I find this interesting is because he is someone that he's obviously going for. He says he's going for his third world title. He's trying to get another a third world title under his on under his belt. He's a two time heavyweight champion of the world. He's trying to get his foot get back to being getting back there. So hopefully go for a third time, and he's been kind of like. Building himself back up again. He's had some fights recently that have not been too convincing. He's won them, but not the best. But his last fight, apparently, I, and this is the thing, I didn't actually watch the last fight because he, he last fought, his last uh, match came uh, against um, Oli um, Wallin, or Wallin um, however you pronounce his name, and apparently done well. He didn't knock him out, but I think, I, I, I think Wallin. They he quit or he or his team threw in the towel or something like that, and apparently that was his very good performance. Um, before then, he was just kind of like 
which against Jermaine Franklin and we expected him to beat him better we didn't really beat him but not in the way that we wanted him to so this has been very good for him now interestingly that same night where so what happened with me I was watching you know the ones where you're watching on the on the naughty the naughty of service right and then it just cut out the sound wasn't the sound was off there was a technical issue that sound I was like and I was late and at that point I was like I just fell I was fell asleep because I watched the Deontay Wilder versus Joseph Parker fight and Wilder which we're not going to talk too much about today um he has now he lost that he lost that fight so he's now on his third professional loss the same as AJ now Deontay Wilder has not looked good did not look good at all when I watched, when I watched that fight like he was he was terrible and he looked like he doesn't look like the same bronze bomber he's now what he's 38 he's going to be 39 this year he's going to be 40 next year he looks like he's on his way out and that fight with AJ doesn't look like it's going to happen now because the fight what, what, what was supposed to happen was AJ if AJ beat Wallin which he did and Wilder beat Parker which he didn't I think the next fight was going to was tipped to be Anthony Joshua versus uh, uh, John T. Wilder, which we wanted, which we wanted for at least going twenty twenty four now, right? Six, at least six years minimum. Like since twenty eighteen times we wanted to do that fight, or maybe twenty seventeen. I can't remember. 2017, 2018. Six or seven years ago, that's what happened. And I don't think it's going to fight to happen now. After seeing that performance against um, Parker, because he's not had much ring time, he's been very inactive. He looks like he's kind of just comfortable now. Now I don't think a lot of people are queuing up for that fight, which I wanted to see happen. Now, with AJ, he's now he's now full, he's, he's now in place to fight Francis Ngannou. Now, Tyson Fury, the reason I'm bringing Tyson Fury into this is because Tyson Fury actually fought Ollie Wallin, and Wallin, I remember watching that fight. Tyson Fury, Fury looked like he was in a lot of trouble. He got bruised up, cut. It didn't look good. Yes, he ended up winning the fight in the end, but it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't good. Anthony Joshua just beat this guy, right? Now, Tyson Fury against Ngannou, now you know my thoughts on that fight. Everyone has, a, everyone has a lot to say about what happened in that fight. AJ's now facing front, um, Francis Ngannou made his professional boxing debut against Tyson Fury. His second professional uh, um, debut will be against Anthony Joshua now, because that fight's been signed. Now, Usyk and Tyson Fury are, are due to fight in February, which is next month, for a world title. Now, this Francis Ngannou fight is very interesting. So, obviously, he's, he's going to want to get his first win, it'll be second fight against AJ. Um, Tyson Fury was so bad in that um, fight against Ngannou. I don't think AJ can do any worse. AJ's going to come up, he's taking it a bit more seriously, he's taking, AJ taking it seriously. You could argue Fury didn't take it as much, as much seriously, he's not really, he wasn't in great shape. I think, right, depending on how that fight goes, and by the way, Francis Ngannou is a ridiculous puncher. Like, some people argue he's even, he's even hit harder than Delta Wilder. Um, the fact that the, the punching technique, you could say it's a bit different UFC, but he's now fighting in boxing now so he's now a professional boxer so that fight depending on how that fight goes against AJ if AJ wins and he beat us better than Fury done I the fans I personally still want to see AJ first and um, Tyson Fury and I think that Fury is a better match for AJ than Usyk anyway so and what is interesting about this fight but it's with a actually Joshua and um, Francis Ngannou is like just like that yeah it's a click that's how it's a click that's it yeah just like that that fight got signed Saudi Arabia are, are about bringing these fights and they're making like the sport of what we want to happen they're bringing the money it's getting signed I'm starting to think that obviously I had my opinions anyway I, was, I, was, I didn't know who to believe I'm starting to think that that Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury for I think that Tyson Fury doesn't want it. I think it's AJ that wants it more than Tyson Fury. If I'm being honest, I'll be real. I think Anthony Joshua wants that fight more than Tyson Fury wants that fight. When you start looking at all the things of how quickly these fights get signed, 
with AJ and Gonu. Remember, people say that AJ, actually Joshua's scared to get hit, but he's going in with Francis and Gonu, like who's who's got who's a devastating puncher. I mean, actually Joshua's got a devastating puncher, but not like Ngannou. It, not not on Gonu's own type of power. Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that'll be interesting to see what happens. Yeah, um, I think AJ's resume is better than Fury. It's better than all of them, to be honest. He's fought Parker. He beat Parker years ago. Waller lost to Parker the other day. Um, he's fought Wallin now, so Fury. He's fought Usyk before Fury, because Fury hasn't fought, actually fought Usyk yet. He's, uh, obviously, I know Edge just obviously AJ lost. Um, yeah. AJ's fought Klitschko. Fury's fought Klitschko. Yeah, I know Klitschko was old by then. He's old for both of them, technically. I mean, even 15, when Tyson Fury beat him, Klitschko was old by that point. It was only two years below. Now, two years at the back end of your career in boxing can be a, 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 can, there can be a noticeable difference still. But it's like, he was still not peak, peak, um, peak um, Klitschko. Right, so yeah, I think anti Joshua, if he beats Ngannou, the next fight for him needs to be well, depending on how the Fury fight goes. Yeah, if Fury beats Usyk, it has to be anti Joshua versus Tyson Fury. That fight needs to happen. I want that fight to happen anyway, regardless of the result between Usyk and um, Fury. But yeah, man, I think anti Joshua could potentially could he win an Arnold World title. I think it's very it's, it's possible. But yeah, guys, so looking forward to what's going on. Don't know what the predictions will be. Um, let me know your predictions or what you think who's going who's gonna to fight between Anthony Joshua and um, Ngannou, who will win, um, what, 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 what your prediction that is, and what you think is next. Do you think AJ will be coming back? Is he on the rise again? Do you think he'll get another world title? Do you think him and, and Tyson Fury will actually ever, ever happen? Or do you, think Usyk, do you think he'll fight Usyk for a third time? I personally believe that if the time comes for it, he should fight. He should do a trilogy and fight Usyk again. Why not? Because another thing I'm going to mention before I wrap up here is he's actually got Tyson Fury's um, old trainer Ben Davidson, who's actually a decent trainer. Very, I think he's good. And also look at look at the way he 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 he, he he's doing now. So that's another thing, another important point is that he's got um, Ben Davidson, um, who was Tyson Fury's um, um, former um, coach, trainer, boxing coach. That's another thing. So. Yes, I th I'm quite excited. But then again, these fights is like now Wilder is past his pomp or looks like he's past his pomp. This is where we get we get kind of like we get we do get screwed over in in boxing with these fights like fights we want we don't get and then someone past their peak someone went out their peak yeah it's kind of like but yeah let me guys let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below guys and peace out.